Hey everybody, Rick Needham Handicapping Thoroughbred Racing from Santa Anita Park on Friday afternoon, March the 2nd. And this is my Equibase Winter Circle Southern California race of the day. Let's take a look at race number two this afternoon, folks. 1.31 p.m. Pacific post time. It's eight and a half for a long route test on the dirt track. Four-year-olds and up race for a claiming prize of some $26,000. Contenders number one, best verse. Number two, Coluda. Number five, Hidden Blessing. And number four, Timetri. Number one, best verse, a four to one shot on top, has won seven times in his career to date, racing at or about today's distance of eight and a half furlongs on the dirt. Has won three times in his last four, including back to back power run wins in his last two adventures. Number two, Coluda, has turned in four power run performances in his last five, including a power run win in his fourth race back. Jockey Joel Rosario and trainer Mike Mitchell send them postward this afternoon. They fit the board with an impressive 68% of their entries saddled as a team to date. Race 2 summary, number 1, best first, tops my contenders list today here at Santa Anita, which also includes number 2, Kaluta, number 5, Hidden Blessing, and number 4, Termetri. 1, 2, 5, 4 in the second from Santa Anita. Bonus long shot, Sam Houston in Texas. Race two, the four to one shot, number one. Andrew's allowance takes a class drop of two units. Nice overall speed for the six and a half for a long sprint. Mountaineer Park in West Virginia, race five, number nine, Gator Swamp. Nine to two in the morning line takes a big class drop of some 20 track master units. Is the speed leader in this maiden field racing at nice distance of a mile on the dirt. So from Santa Anita Park on a Friday afternoon, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.